Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be sharing um um what okay <laughs> all of the uh empties from my fall melting basket like round two. I actually don't know if I've remembered to upload the first part yet. So hopefully I did. If not, it's gonna be late, but you know, better late than never, I guess. Uh, yeah, so I'm just gonna go ahead and share that with you now. I definitely didn't finish everything in this basket and the stuff that I did not finish is gonna go back because now I'm gonna do like Christmas and winter scents. So I'm going in no particular order. I did not take notes on the scents that I used for this basket. I just like, I couldn't be bothered. I'm sorry. Uh, this one is the Woodwick in White Teak and I'm actually melting this one right now. Um, it smells really good. It smells stronger in the package than it does melting. It Melting, it's definitely on the lighter side. It smells very similar to Bath and Body Works Mahogany Teakwood. I would say um, the actual scent itself is milder and lighter. I hope that makes sense. But it's still nice. So got that. And then we've got fresh orchard apples. I think I mixed this with some stuff. I'm pretty sure I did. But either way, I love this scent. It's really good. I definitely want to get more. I think I have more in my in my stash. I think I have at least one more of the like larger clams, but I definitely need to get even more because I really, really love this. I've discovered this year that I really love, actually not even like over the entire year. In the last couple months, I've realized how much I love apple scents. It's just so good. This one is Un Milagro from Sensationals. It's a wood scent. This one is just, oh my God, that smells so good. This one just smells like a sexy man. This one smells like cologne, but like cologne on a man once it's like mixed. <laughs> I don't know, that sounds so weird. It doesn't smell like just like smelling cologne out of a bottle. Do you know what I mean? This smells like someone's wearing it. I don't know if you smell the difference in that, but I do. <laughs> oh, it smells so good. Oh my gosh, that's so good. Okay, next is Black Magic by the Candle Daddy. I don't I don't think I ended up liking this. I don't I don't think I did. I don't really remember this that much, but I feel like I didn't care one way or the other. These farm raised scents were very disappointing um i'm pretty sure i melted or i mixed this with the fresh orchard apples i'm pretty sure i did just or i melted this in my bedroom i don't remember i just remember like it wasn't great like it wasn't very strong it just i don't think i'd buy from that that brand again Scenic Drive I did yesterday and while the scent was good and it has definitely like an apple scent to it, it's definitely apple forward, but also smells kind of just like autumn air. Um, it was so, so light and it lasted maybe four hours. It was just very very light um so that makes me really sad because the scent is really good in the clam i did dulce de leche churros i don't know why i said it like that switching accents halfway through um this was so good this was really good these sensationals like this particular collection sensationals i usually have really good luck with but this brand in particular not the brand oh my god this collection in particular just like every single one is hitting so so good like strong smells really good 
I'm gonna go to Walmart tomorrow anyway, so I'm gonna see if I can find more of these. Maybe I can find some in the clearance section. I don't know. I'm gonna look for some more of those because it's really good. Um, I only have two more. I did. I was not like keeping up with my wax very well the last couple weeks, so it's very sad. I did use Sensi's Palo Santo and this smelled like a straight bonfire like this smelled like something was burning <laughs> on fire um I remember I came downstairs and I was like what the heck is that I, I thought I accidentally left like the oven on or something and I was like what the heck is burning and then I realized it's just this <laughs> So I don't know that I'm really a fan of that scent by itself. Mm. And then the last one I have is Cauldron Fire by the Candle Daddy. Um, actually, you know what? No, I take it back. It was this one. This is the one that I thought something was burning. This one smelled like this mixed with something ever so slightly sweet. So it didn't quite smell like something was like on fire but it still smelled very smoky. This one is the one that I thought something was on fire and it's called Cauldron Fire. So in the future, maybe something like this, I would probably whew, mix with something because my Lord, that is very strong. Um, <clears throat> I'm just gonna quickly go over all of the things left in here, you know, just so you can see in case you didn't watch the last video or I don't know. I'm just gonna show you, but it's all gonna go back into my fall um, bin. I've got Better Homes and Gardens Maple Sugar Drizzle, Scentsy's Redwood and Cedar. I was very like, <sighs> actually that smells really good. I should have done, I might actually throw this in my summer bin because this smells like summer camp to me. I think I might actually do that. Okay, so we got redwood and cedar. <clears throat> Amber hollow. I, apparently people don't like this. I'm gonna put this in my summer one too because again, this smells like the woods to me. Like it just makes me think of summer camp. I know these like woodsy scents people usually attribute more towards like fall smelling but I think that I would like this in the summer just because, again, it smells like summer camp to me. But I actually really like the scent on cold. But apparently people don't like that, I don't know. Um, I've got Pumpkin Frappe by Better Homes and Gardens. Oh, I have one more of these. Farm Raised Pumpkin Spice. Midnight Mass by The Candle Daddy. Harvest Breeze by uh, Better Homes and Gardens. Pueblo Magico by Sensationals. Sorry, I'm messing those all up today. Spiced Pumpkin Pie by Better Homes and Gardens. Banana Pumpkin Bread by Better Homes and Gardens. Now that I'm looking at this, I'm like actually really sad that I <laughs> was not keeping up on my wax. Uh, part of it is that for probably at least a week, maybe closer to two weeks, the bulb in one of my warmers went out and that warmer scents like half of my downstairs and all of the other warmers are like on the other side of the downstairs. And for some reason in my mind, that meant that I just couldn't melt anything because it felt like a waste. I don't know, it's kind of maybe dumb, but Oh my God, it smells so good. But that's what happened. So I didn't actually change my wax out for like at, over a week. Anyway, this is Cider Mill by Scentsy. Caramel Apple Craze by Scentsy. And I definitely meant to melt these because I wanted to see if I like needed to keep them in my, like needed to, I wanted to club them or something. And I didn't end up actually melting them. So oopsie. And then we have Mystic Crystal by the candle daddy so i didn't even get through half of what's in here which is kind of sad 
but it's fine. It's fine. Ooh, I am being so loud. I'm sorry. But that is everything that I used up and didn't use up. Let's see. I used up one, two, six, seven, seven, eight, and then this is like basically two. So nine, ten. Ten clams worth. I mean, it's not, not anything crazy, but anyway, that's everything that I finished. I hope you enjoyed this video. I will be doing a video on my December melting basket very soon. I'm actually gonna go upstairs and fill that up right now. Spoiler, there's gonna be lots of bricks in it <laughs> because I have lots of holiday bricks. Uh, but yeah, so again, I hope you enjoyed. If you did, give the video a thumbs up. I hope you have, why do I keep speaking so strangely today? I hope you have a great day and I will see you next time. Bye. <laughs>